If you have ever wondered how to create a simple AI for your Unity game, you are in the right place. Hi, I'm Peter and welcome to Sunny Valley Studio Tutorials. In this tutorial we are going to take a look at how to create three basic behaviors, idle, wonder and chase player. And to allow our enemy to take action depending on the conditions, we are going to implement a finite state machine. A finite state machine is just a way to make decisions depending on the events that are happening in our game. I will provide you with this starting project with the models, scene and sounds and animations already created so we can focus on implementing our AI. We will have a simple movement script that we will use throughout this tutorial. You will be able to download this project from a GitHub link provided in the description. We are going to use some external resources, mainly models from Quaternius. I really encourage you to check out his website because he is providing models with CC0 license so you can reuse them and do whatever you want with them. They are free. We are also going to use two sound packs from Unity Asset Store. They are free currently. One is 44.1 General Library by Inspector J Sound Effects and RPG BGM Dungeon, the background sound by BGM. We will have to download those two music asset packs from Unity Asset Store and preset our project so it is the same as I have in the video. Now before we start, if you are interested in creating a city builder game template and learning how to create a more object oriented code using design patterns and unit tests, I encourage you to check out my Unity course on how to make a city builder game in Unity 2019 using best coding practices. The course has about 17 hours and you will end up with a, a game that I have just showed you on HIO where you can check it out. And if you would consider buying it, please use the links down in the description of this video. You would help me a lot and allow me to publish more free videos on YouTube. So in the next video, we will create our preset for our project and we will start creating our simple AI in our game.